Most of us have been to the touristy spots, maybe Buckingham Fountain, the Mag Mile, the Lakefront, but our next guest is here to encourage us to get off the beaten path a little and explore the Loop. With us now is Jessica Cabe, the Communications Manager with the Chicago Loop Alliance. Good morning, Jessica. Good morning. Thanks for being with us this morning. This is a self-guided Loop mural walk. So how does it work? So you'll want to use a smart device. You'll go to loopchicago.com slash mural walk. And we've got routes, um, we've got maps, we've got lists of murals. If you just want to hit up one or two, it's very flexible. You can have any kind of day that you want, but um, there are 21 murals total that you can see. Are these new murals? Have they been around a long time? Because you're right, I work in the loop a lot. And even the images that we're showing right now, I don't know where these are. I've never seen them before. Yeah, they were all pre-existing murals. I believe 16 of them were commissioned by Chicago Loop Alliance um, during our Activate events. Um, so most of these murals are tucked away in alleys or loading docks. Uh, some of them are more high profile. The Muddy Waters mural on State Street is included. Sure. But I think the really fun part is going a little off the beaten path and seeing a side of downtown that you're not used to. What's been the response so far? It's been very positive, and in fact, um, it's been so positive that we extended it. We initially said it would last through the July 4th weekend, and we've extended it through Labor Day. So now folks can access the, the tour all summer. And is this for tourists? Is this for locals? I, I have a feeling we're encouraging anyone to, to maybe on their lunch break, right? Yeah, so the idea, of course, anyone is welcome to do the mural walk, but the idea was to target Chicagoans who maybe haven't been downtown in a while because of COVID-19. Right. Um, it's It could be perhaps a little intimidating for tourists who are not familiar with the loop, but if you are familiar, this is an exciting way to see another side of it. That's great. And so it was supposed to end this weekend. Uh, I guess that would be the self-guided, you know, what you go on your smart device and you and that type of thing. The murals, though, are, they're going to be there for a while, right? Yeah, they're going to be there for the foreseeable future. Chicago Loop Alliance actually worked with the artists to register them with the city on the city's mural registry to make sure that they're not painted over. They're pieces of public art. Um, so they'll be here for the foreseeable future. But um, just sort of the maps and the guides, we wanted to inspire people to actually make a plan and come down and do it. I know I need a deadline to do anything. <laughs> Absolutely. Can you tell us anything about the artists? Yeah, so the artists are, they kind of run the gamut. Um, some of them are big international names. Most of them are Chicago based um, at sort of different levels in their careers. Um, for example, we've got a mural by Sam Kirk, who's a Chicago based artist, but has done work around the world. Um, we've got murals by a good friend of ours, Barrett Keithley, who co-founded an organization called Paint the City last year, where they painted murals on the board up after the George Floyd protests. Um, and so many of these artists we have a great relationship with, and we're really excited that we were able to find a way to highlight their work. Is there any talk of expanding this, um, the walk or adding murals because this is so popular? Yeah, we were actually pleasantly surprised that after we launched this, we got some emails from folks like, hey, can, can you add my mural to the mural walk? And for a variety of logistical reasons, we weren't able to do that this time, but we're in talks about maybe this is an annual thing that we do and we sort of create new routes and find new murals every year. Oh, that's great. And last question, how long, if you were to kind of check them all out, how long would it take you, do you think? So if you were to do all three routes, it's about 2.1 miles, and you could probably knock it out in an hour, but I would encourage you to give yourself two hours to really take your time with them, listen to the audio descriptions on every uh, mural listing, and maybe pop into a business while you're downtown, grab a drink, go shopping at Macy's, um, just sort of reacquaint yourself with the loop. Come back downtown. <laughs> Perfect. Well, thanks so much for your time. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you. And you can, more information, go to loopchicago.com slash mural walk. Happy 4th of July weekend, Jessica.